Hello everyone and welcome back to number Guild Wars 2 Beginner's Guide. Today we want to talk about the auction house, which is also called the trader market, or well, as they call it, the trading post. <laughs> and in Guild Wars 2 trading post is like other auction houses you've seen in other MMOs. And the reason I'm doing this Beginner's Guide is because next month we're getting the next expansion called End of Dragons, which is probably going to attract a lot of new players to the game. So that's why I was feeling to make some very basic guides so everyone can understand what's going on. But let's get directed to it. In every main capital, you will be finding a trading post where you can see like this. You can actually also ac access the trading post from anywhere in the world, but you need to visit the trading post for actually pick up what you bought. But if you go to the top of your screen, you will see this, this, this lion icon here. You can also press O which is opening up the gem store where you could buy like uh, things for gems and you could buy gems for real money. You know, it's the way on how they actually earn money because it does, this game doesn't have a subscription, so they need to earn money on something. But if you go to the last tab called the trading post, and it's actually pretty cool because you can use the trading post anywhere in the world, like literally anywhere in the world. And in here you can see, okay, how much gold do we have? We have home, buy items, sell items, and my transactions. It's pretty cool because you can actually sell items anywhere in the world. I can basically click on this ax here, sell it instantly. Like if someone have already made a buy order, you can sell it instantly to them. And if they don't have a buy order, you can do a sell order where some people, they can go to the auction house or the trading post and then buy it from you. Right now you can see the lowest sell order is um, on 80 cover. So if I made a 79, I would actually then have the lowest one and probably have a big chance to actually sell it. But that's a pretty bad item. Um, but if you go to, for example, home, you have different menus here for like, it's basically for buying items. You have armor, all the different armor pieces, rings, amulets, stuff like that, weapons, upgrade components, uh, for like for weapons, stuff like like runes and like enchantments and so on. Skins, armor skins, weapon skins, which can be pretty cool because you can like right click on them and say preview. And it's going to show you how it shows. Like, do we actually have one for a great sword? There we go. So it's going to show me this is a skin for great sword. This one is really cool. How expensive is it? Oh, six, six, no, that's, that's a bit too much. But you know, still, th this could be like that. You can also just left click on it and see like the different offers that people have done. Like you can see here, the lowest one has been sold for 76 gold, but someone actually want to buy it for 66. So when someone comes to the auction house, he can either choose to make a sell order. So he someone needs to buy his thing or he can get 66 gold ASAP from this person who made a buy order. So this guy who made a buy order, he of course hopes that he can actually get it. But again, like I can like say, okay, I want to pay um, 67 and then place an order and then someone could sell it to me instantly. It's the same way our MMOs, they work with buying in these things, not the main MMOs, but our MMOs. It, it's quite cool. And again, crafting materials, others, like dye, foods, stuff like that, minis and so on. Even inventory bags, which is probably like really cool. And also ferrets. So if you like made a ferret on it, for example, this sword here, I love how it looks. So I made it like a ferret on it. Yeah. So there we go. And again, you can also see like a history, sell item, buy item. Another cool thing when you buy items, for example, if you, if you want to like buy gear, like equipment, it's important to know you cannot buy the best gear in the game, except weapons. Like if you go to weapons and great sword and search for the highest prices, you can actually buy legendary items. Um, but that's the only legendary thing you can buy because you cannot buy legendary armor or ascended armor or ascended weapons. Basically, if we go in here on this wheel, you can see a rarity. You have basic, fine, masterwork, rare, exotic. You can buy all these things on auction house. Like even if like if we go back to buy items, like remove all the filters. There we go. That's all the things. And we see, okay, we're gonna say like, okay, weapons. And we wanna see all the ascended. You cannot get ascended. You need to get ascended from other ways, like uh, not raids, in-game stuff, stuff like that. Legendary, 
that is the basic the only legendary thing you can buy you cannot buy legendary armor or stuff like that on auction house it's only weapons but trust me they are expensive like 2000 gold just buying 2000 gold for real money like if you want to build buy for real money here that's gonna be so expensive like okay let's see here i want um 2000 can't even buy 2000 at one time it's gonna be like only for 999 it's gonna get 5000 gems wow ouch 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 so basically if you want to buy a legendary you need to use you need that's wow you you, you need like 10,000 gems and what about 10,000 gems is like yeah that's that's a lot of money like a lot of money so yeah that's up to you if you want to do that but yeah in here you can like search for items like uh, weapons and you can see here what which attributes you should have like okay i want power i need precision and vitality and it's for necromancer and i want it in legendary okay no legendary has that stats that's fine uh legendary oh yeah sorry i forgot legendary don't have stats because you can change the stats on them so it's another way you basically can change the stats on it if i remember right but here you can see like this is the weapons that has the stats i want and oh well, that's a lot of stats uh yeah that's basically how you can right click on it and see how it looks i didn't specify that it was to a, a gray assault but i can just like quick click on gray assault and see here okay we have a gray assault with the stats i wanted but also a lot of other stats which is a bit weird but yeah so that's basically how you buy items but it's very important to know the fact like okay for example let me show you something so i'm gonna go back to my inventory boom 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 boom, boom my bank here i have my bank top of my bank go to my material storage and i want to sell some of my crafting materials let's see okay i'm having here mystic coins i have 27 mystic coins cool you can right click on it and uh, buy more on trading post actually i want to do something else i want to take them into my bag and right click on it and say sell and the cool thing is you can tr you can sell anywhere in the world but again you have to go and visit a trading post before you can actually get your items but you can sell and buy anywhere in the world which is pretty cool like an online trading system in this game which i believe is pretty cool so here i can see i can get my money instantly selling to this guy who made a post where he wants you know like basically he's paying me one gold 75 silver for each which is cool like it's it doesn't have to be one person but you know it's like a different people who made a listing about this so that that's cool but else i can see here other people they don't want to sell they actually want to sell it for this amount so i could say okay i want to sell for this but just one less so now i'm, I'm gonna be the cheapest guy but still high price and in that way i there's a chance I might get even more, but if I'm like, no, 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 I want my money now, then I can sell it here. And again, the same thing, if you're going to buy something, you can find the item you want to buy, and then you can either buy it ASAP from a current seller, or you can be like, no, 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 no. I want to set it to this price. I'm going to buy it for this price, because then if someone else comes and want to buy that item, or sorry, sell it, he can either do a sell order, or he can say, okay, that price Daval has, it's fine i'm gonna give him to i'm gonna sell it to him it's pretty cool it's different from some of mmos but still a pretty cool system where you can like either do a buy order sell order buy instantly sell instantly and stuff like that but just keep in mind you can't really buy in-game gear on auction house you can buy like the very good gear which is like um, the one called exotic and then you have ascendant and legendary which ascendant and legendary has the same stats it's just the difference is legendary you can change stats on the gear all the time um but ascendant gear is like only like 10 10 percent stronger um than exotic so it's it's not because it's gonna make you like that stronger so it's almost in game gear this but you know still if you want to min maxing of course you want to send it which you cannot get here you have to do in game stuff for that but this video was more about like learning you the basics of the trading post and how it works yeah but again keep in mind you can access it all the time from pressing o or the iron the line up here go to the trading post 
buy, sell anywhere in the world, but you have to visit a trading post to actually being able to like get your rewards or not your reward, but the item you sold aboard. That's how it is. But thanks for watching. Have a great evening. And uh, I guess see you in End of Dragons in next month for the new expansion. And keep in mind, if you're new to the game and you haven't created an account yet, you can use my link in the description, which where you can create a new account. And basically, it's going to help me out since it's a sponsor link. I'm a ReNet partner, official ReNet partner, so it's going to help me out. But you can also pre-order the game through my link in below in the description, and it's also going to help me out if you want. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and see you in another video.